Okay, so this one's going to be very brief. Um, I just want to talk about the entertainment studio Jibja. Um, between 2005 and 2014, they made a video usually around the Christmas period, um, a year in review it was called, and they can be found here on YouTube. Um, they're not as viral as some videos, but they are usually over a million views. Um, and basically, a little bit of background to Jib Jab, as I understand it, they're an entertainment studio uh, founded in Los Angeles in 1999. Now, they got attention for um, their coverage or, or their satirical take on the 2004 debate between George W. Bush and John Kerry. Um, and then beginning in 2005, like I say, through to 2014, they made reviews of the year based on um, animation and based on really um, rhyming uh, songs based on all the sort of people and events of a given year. Um, I always find these videos rather interesting. Um, there were some aspects I liked about them, some aspects I didn't like, so I'm just going to quickly review that. I should say, uh, as of 2017, whereby I'm uploading this video, um, they haven't made that year review for two, three years now, and I can't see any situation where they're going to resume that. And I, I suspect there may be some reasons for that. Um, so, what they usually do is have some sort of song format. They're usually very fast-paced videos, um, and they have these animations, uh, usually with photographs of the real person stuck onto them. Um, they tend to be somewhat US centric, so most of the things that are covered are based on American politics or American stories. However, they do cover international events as well. Um, a wide range of things, whether it be uh, Iran's nuclear program, North Korea's nuclear program, various conflicts going on in the world. Um, it's pretty politically incorrect. Uh, I can't say the videos are particularly sensitive, but nor are they supposed to be. Um, in a sense, it's satire for the 21st century. Um, one thing I'm not too fussed on, uh, well, firstly, the thing I do like is I think they're quite creative. I think that they managed to cover quite a lot of global events. One thing I wasn't too fussed on is there was a little bit too much of a focus for my liking on the more sensationalistic celebrity gossip style stories. Um, you know, celebrity sex tapes and this sort of thing. Uh, that sort of stuff bores the hell out of me, and um, you know, I, I'm no fan of yellow journalism, so that side of things I find rather off putting. On the other hand, if we take Jib Jab to be um, kind of an insight into 21st century culture, that is to say, how stories resonate with the public, then I suppose I've hit the nail on the head because the reality is there would be far more people interested in a celebrity sex tape than, let's say, uh, the humanitarian crisis in Darfur or, you know, the typhoon in the Philippines or something like that. So, in a sense, that is a kind of reflection, a cynical reflection, on the way people perceive 21st century news. So, I suppose it would be shooting the messenger that they were they reflect that. Um, some of it, like I say, is a little bit tasteless, uh, politically incorrect, but also borderline tasteless. But I can't really fault them too much because, like I say, they cover a wide range of things. And some of it's quite witty. For example, for the year 2013, they had some well-known figures from that year uh, who had passed away. And they were in a queue waiting to get into the pearly kits of heaven. Um, Mandela said, I transformed a nation. And then Maggie Thatcher kind of chips in, show off. Um, so it is quite funny at certain points. Um, anyway, I'll let you make your own judgment. Simply type in jib jab and then type in any year from 2005 to 2014. See what comes up and let me know what you think. So summed up, I, I quite like the videos. I think they're quite creative. They can be quite funny. I'm not such a fan of the more sleazy, celebrity, TMZ, trashy side of them but like i say that is a reflection of what a lot of people unfortunately are interested in okay thanks for watching let me know your thoughts oh one last thing i think the reason they probably stopped doing it is because the videos uh have many views but compared to some of the like music videos online 
they're still not quite viral in the sense of so that could be the reason that they stopped doing it who knows let me know your thoughts thanks for watching